guys welcome back to my kitchen it's a girl in Noabi and as per usual I am here to Uno Noabisa tonight so we're back in the kitchen after positive response of my first uh, quarantine with me let's get cooking together video um, I thought you know what let me shoot another one today I'm making supper for the family of six and I am making chicken breast tomato based penne which is pasta with tomato base and chicken and before we get started I would just like to get into the ingredients because for the rest of this video I will be voice overing and talking you through the steps of how I make a tomato based chicken pasta so first things first you need your pasta over here I have got two packets of penne which is one of the best cuts of pasta that I've ever had so I got two packets here but I'm only going to use one and a half because I am cooking for a family of six then we have our chicken breast so this is our chicken breast unfortunately it's not defrost yet but I will be defrosting it in the microwave this is just free range chicken breast that I got from Woolies then we have onion like one chopped onion and one chopped green pepper obviously we're going to have our chopped canned tomatoes I like getting canned tomatoes for this recipe because it just is in terms of taking fresh tomatoes it's just going to use too much and I'm going to be using the two cans of the chopped tomatoes we have a little bit of cream I've got some cream here this cream is just to make the tomato base a bit creamy and then that's all you need as in terms of ingredients obviously you can use your pots and your boiling water to cook everything so let's get cooking Okay guys, in a saucepan you will pour some oil and you will put in your onion and your green peppers and you will fry them until they are browned and I also add, once they are softening a little bit, I add um, beef stock just to help them brown and just give them a little bit of flavour. Okay guys, whilst your your onion is browning on the side, you're going to take your chicken and you're just going to chop it up into little cubes. Um, this is to uh, make the chicken sizable enough so that it is in edible portions. And also, whilst you're doing that, you're going to spice up and season your chicken. I used a little bit of salt, I used a little bit of chicken spice and different spices. You can literally choose what you want to use. And you know, when you season your chicken, I don't like spicy things, but if you want it spicy, you can definitely do that. And also be mindful not to burn your onion and green pepper. So just uh, mix it up a little bit with that beef stock whilst you're there.
Okay, guys, so once your green peppers and onions have browned, you're just going to add those cans of tomato. So you're just going to add them in just to warm them up because they are kind of like like ready but you want to warm them up so you're just going to heat them up with the onions and you're going to spice them as preference guys once your tomato sauce is ready just going to put it on the side so that it cools down before you blend it and you're going to get a separate pan put in some oil and we're going to use this pan to fry our chicken Okay lovers, once your oil is hot, you're just going to take your seasoned chicken that you put on the side and you're just going to fry it until it is ready and it is cooked through and through. We do not want salmonella girlies, so make sure that that chicken is not a raw in the middle. So you want your oil to be like at three out of the six. So... You want it to be like hot, but you don't want it to be too hot because you don't want to burn it and then it's raw in the inside. So you just want everything to be cooked through and through and you're going to cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes, uh, like six minutes on each side. I just cooked it until I saw it was ready. Guys, when your chicken is ready, you're just going to have boiling water and you're going to add your pasta into your water and you're going to cook it for six to eight minutes. Then you will drain it and just have it chill and vibe on the side. Okay, so your tomato, um, your tomato base is probably like cooled down by now so you're just going to add that to the blender and you're going to blend it i blended it on the speed i think one if not two and then i added the cream and then i blend it a little bit more and then i put it on the side and i'm waiting for the pasta to cook until it's al dente and then we're gonna mix everything up y'all Once your pasta is ready, you're just going to use a colander and you're just going to drain out the water and you're going to put it back into the pot. Okay guys, so the food is ready. As you can see, um, everything was done separately and one at a time. So the next step is we have our hot pasta in here. Then what we're going to do is... Okay, we have a hot pasta and we have our sauce and we have our chicken. So, um, I am all over the place right now. Okay, I'm gonna mix with this. Okay, so 
So first things first, the pasta is nice and hot. So if everything cooled down, the pasta is gonna warm it up without having to put it in the microwave. We're taking our creamy tomato base, very creamy, very smooth, and we're going to pour it into the pasta. Coating the pasta with it, you're gonna pour half. So no, 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 guys. Then you're gonna mix it just to coat the pasta in the tomato base. We accidentally put too much pasta, but anyway, our sauce is enough. Then we're going to pour the rest. What's nice about this pasta is that the sauce sticks to it. It looks so delicious. Then what you're gonna do is you go sprinkle the chicken. In. Just pull the chicken in, mix, pour it in. It's basically just it's just tomato pasta with chicken. Here it is, ready to serve. So I'm gonna taste this. Mmm, delicious. So nice. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning into my channel. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me, would you like to see what what recipe you'd like me to see me do in the next cooking video? Until next time, guys. Ciao.